Okay, you guys, it's time to create our fall slash Halloween charcuterie board. Um, this is mostly treats with a few like salty snacks to balance it out. And I basically pulled a bunch of stuff out. I just kind of went crazy with all things fall. And then I have some decor as well, like little um, spiders and pumpkins and leaves and stuff like that. So I'm not sure exactly, like, I haven't planned out what I'm gonna do, but I'm just kind of going to kind of show you guys like my process in making um, any charcuterie board. And this one just is gonna be a fall Halloween one. So here we go. I'm gonna kind of tell you guys really quick what I got. So for fall or Halloween, you just wanna get um, things that are fall colors or like Halloween specific. So, um, like I have caramels and then little pumpkin and, um, eyeball candies. I've got caramel corn, orange sugar cookies, um, some popcorners. So this is like a good fall color, even though it's not like specifically fall or Halloween. Then I have, um, of course, green apples and caramel dip. And then some Reese's Pieces, so it's got the yellow, brown, and orange colors in there. And then vanilla wafers. These are just um, like the autumn mix of candy corn, so it has the caramel flavor, the candy corn flavor, and then the pumpkins. And then Oreos and pretzels. And then black licorice, and this is like orange creamsicle licorice. Pretty sure my husband will love this. He loves orange creamsicle anything, but anyways. Um, yeah, and actually, the nice thing about these are is they're going to double as a craft, Halloween craft. I'm going to do a Halloween craft video um, soon, and so we're going to use some of the leftovers for that. Okay, so one rule of thumb for a good charcuterie board is to get a good variety of stuff. I've got a lot of sweet stuff, cookies, candy, um, licorice, stuff like that, and I also have savory stuff, pretzels, popcorners, and a couple of healthier things like apples and... That's pretty much the only healthy thing on this, but it's fine. It's Halloween and fall time, so who cares? <laughs> a second rule of thumb for a charcuterie board is to make sure you have some decor with it. And when I say decor, I mean like um, little sort of like stuff like this, leaves, these little spiders, something to go with the theme of your charcuterie board. Um, if you're just doing like a fancy like cheese and fruit platter, you can um, garnish it with like flowers or greenery or something like that but it will just take your charcuterie board to the next level. Okay, my third rule is when putting a charcuterie board together, you want to put like, grab one thing and do like three or four different sections of it. And then another thing and do three or four different sections along it and just scatter it randomly. And that way everything will kind of be random and not too um, like partitioned off. So I'll show you guys how I do that in a minute. My fourth and final rule of thumb is to then um, make everything flow together with one specific item. So I'm going to use the candy corn for that. And I'll show you guys what I mean, but that will kind of like fill in any gaps. You basically want your charcuterie board to be like chock full of stuff. So yeah, here we go. Let's go for it. So I'm going to start with, um, some fall leaves and I'm actually just going to scatter them throughout this charcuterie board. Um, I nixed the orange pumpkins because they were just too big. If I had a bigger charcuterie board, I would have probably done them because they would look cute with the fall colors right here, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of get these on the edge, especially since a lot of the middle will be covered up. I'm just kind of going to scatter those. And then I'm going to start with my Oreos. And I'm going to put four different little piles of these down. I'm kind of gonna do it a little randomly here. Okay, so like I said, you wanna do about like three to four groupings of each type of food. Okay, so I'm gonna put my Oreos aside. Now I'm going to do, let's see here. I'm gonna do my sugar cookies because I don't want them to be too close to my Oreos, so I'm gonna kind of like scatter those a little bit. Probably just gonna do two groupings of those. Um, yep, I think that's good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in and something I maybe should have done first, but it doesn't really matter, is I'm gonna put actually my caramel in a little bowl. So I'm going to stick this little bowl right here. 
and put some caramel in there. Um, if you're doing a dip, you don't want the bowl, if you just have like one dip, you don't want it to be like right in the middle. Um, you want it to be like off center. It just looks a lot more like visually pleasing that way, I guess. Um, and some people have a whole bunch of dips and so you can have a whole bunch of bowls and then try to make, this might be tricky, but try to make the top of it kind of look like you can kind of swirl it a little bit, make it look appetizing. All right. And then I'm going to want to put um, a lot of my apples right near the caramel because that just makes sense. So I'm just going to pile a whole bunch of these up. Um, and something that you also want to keep in mind is you don't want it to be like, like I wouldn't, I don't want to, these to get soggy. So I wouldn't put like this part of the apple right near that, but I'll put the skin near the skin part of the apple near the cookie, if that makes sense. Um, just kind of trying to keep it. And actually I'm realizing what I want to do here is flip the apples so they you can see the green or else you kind of lose the beauty of the color right there so i'm gonna do just like a pile of them like that um okay these are proving to be the trickiest because i don't know i think it's looking good all right, next we're going to do, um, we're gonna start adding kind of some of our more bland colors in there. So I'm gonna put a handful of these popcorners and it's okay if stuff runs together. Like it's actually great if it does because you want it to be like full and like overflowing. So because I don't have as much space as I was thinking I would, I am doing just groups of like two of some of these things. Um, and like, I would definitely put like more of the yummier stuff on there, I guess, if you have to cut back on some things. So next I'm going to do my caramel corn. And this would also taste really good with the apples. So I'm going to stick it kind of next to the apples there. Um, I forgot to mention, I keep thinking of more like tips for charcuterie boards. But one more tip is to have, like make sure you have lots of things that mix and match well, like flavor wise. So like popcorn and apples, caramel popcorn and apples taste great. So does um, caramel dip and apples. So does like, you know, caramel popcorn and Reese's Pieces. So you have like lots of different options. Um, and so you're not just, yeah, you're not just like winging it. You have thought of that beforehand so that you can plan for flavors to like go well together. All right. So next, um, I'm going to add some of our candy. Actually, I'm going to do the licorice next because it's the last like big item, I guess, that we have. And I'm just kind of going to... Ooh, you know what? I just thought of something. Hmm. Okay. I'm actually going to move these pretzels over to the side. I'm going to put my black licorice here. Um, and I'm not like dispersing this. I would like put it right in the middle because I think that would look cute. But the flavor is so strong that I don't want it to like flavor everything else like black licorice. So I put my licorice, black licorice on the corner right here. And this is a little tricky to get stuff to stay on. It's not a big deal if it falls off, but it is bugging me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay my um, orange creamsicle licorice over this way. And just kind of like, fan it out a little bit I kind of have some of the pretzels go on top right there okay so you want like with this type of thing you'd want it like different angles different sections um, just to like, kind of like spread out the size and variety there then I'm gonna do vanilla wafers next um, 
see, I'm gonna put some right here. And as you can see, I'm running out of space. I mean, I'm really not, because you can have so much, so many things on charcuterie boards. But I'm trying to just like add a few in here and there. I'm actually going to add an Oreo or two right here. So I'm just kind of adding some in these little open spaces. Um, okay, it's looking really good. I'm super happy with this. All right, so we have a few more things to add. I actually ended up just saving all of my candy for the end um, because it's like those small little things you can kind of fill in the gaps with. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna sprinkle candy all over it. Instead of just the candy corn, I'm gonna use all my candy to fill in the gaps and kind of um, bring everything together. And this is like one of my favorite little tips of a charcuterie board because um, it really just like brings the whole look together. And candy is a really, really fun way to add in like the theme of a charcuterie board in there. So like I'm, I'm using pumpkins and little eyeballs, eyeball chocolates, and then Reese's Pieces and candy corns. So it's just like, um, it's easy to kind of get the theme across with um, candy because it has the bright wrap, the bright wrappers or like vibrant colors or whatever. So we're just going to add in, oh my gosh, these pretzels will not stay. <laughs> and you want it to be like kind of random. So you don't need to like add everything if you don't want to, but Okay, and then we're gonna do, I, am, I think I am gonna try to concentrate the Reese's Pieces just here and there. So it's not like too, too random. things everywhere. All right. Okay. So last but not least, we've got our candy corn and I'm kind of going to follow um, where I've got the other bits of candy and kind of like connect everything with that. So this is a very full charcuterie board. Uh, you don't have to do with this full. I love it though. I think it's so fun. It's just like so much more visually appealing and you can just, you just like want to go to town on it. <laughs> so it looks so full of yummy and fun treats. Um, okay. So you can see I've kind of just like scattered the candy throughout and kind of like weaved everything together. And that is what you want to do with like the smaller pieces of a charcuterie board. Oh my gosh. But nothing will stay on, which is fine. It's supposed to be overflowing. Okay, so you can see like, I need like one more Oreo right here. And then maybe a few more candy corns. And... Wow, this looks pretty good. I'm not going to use these pumpkins because I just don't have the space for them, but I think I am going to add a few of these spiders. This is definitely a fall and Halloween charcuterie board combined. So I'm going to add some little spiders along this board.
Okay, and I think I'm gonna nix these little rings. Okay, and that is how you guys make a good charcuterie board. You wanna have a big variety of flavor and color. You want it to be super, super packed full. You wanna do little um, sections. So with each type of food, do two to four different little set groupings and sections. And then you want things to be like just piled, piled high, and then get some kind of like candy or small um, treat or snack to like scatter throughout and tie it all in. And then finally use some little pops of like decoration, like these little fake spiders, the little fall leaves underneath, stuff like that to make it super, super themey. So anyway, you guys should try this with your family. We're gonna have a movie night tonight and watch Hocus Pocus and eat this. And yeah, it's gonna be super fun. This would be good for any kind of party, um, family night, movie night, um, anything like that. And you can do this with any um, season and you can do it for a birthday, you can do it for so many different things. So you guys should definitely try this out. It's super easy. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feel 